Good morning, my name's Julie from So Unique. I'd like to welcome you to day 30 of my August vlog. Um, I've got no set plans for today. I've got some admin work to do. Um, I need to order my shopping, my food shopping as well. Uh, I've got my little helper coming shortly. And I know he wants to make some kind of type of bun with cocoa pops. Um, yeah, that's what he's had for breakfast and there's a recipe on the box so we'll be doing that. Um, I'm sure we'll be doing some other kind of baking today. Um, I'm starting my day with my Yorkshire tea but I've got lemon juice this morning as I've run out of milk. I forgot to buy some yesterday didn't I? Uh, like I say no set plans for today we'll just see how it goes, see where we end up. I have purchased a pattern uh, for, for socks. It's um, a pattern by Charlotte Stone from Stone Knits and it's called Magic Toadstool Socks. So this is going to be some colour work on socks. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure about this. I'm a bit nervous about doing colour work on socks. I've only had a go at colour work once and that was on a a hat, it was a Tetris hat, that was probably the easiest one I could find. Um, and I didn't I didn't sort of string my yarn at the back properly, I sort of wove it in, which I didn't realise I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I mean the hat looks fine, but you can see bits of colour from the back threads popping through the front. Uh, so I'm a bit sort of oh, nervous about doing this actually but I did get some green sort of tweedy flecky yarn um, when I was on holiday in Wales from Aberare on that nice box it was nice yarn and I thought I'd use that for the socks and I need to see if I can find some red and cream then for the toadstools I don't think I'm going to put contrasting heels and toes in this pair. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm on the lookout now for some red yarn and some cream yarn. So once I can collect all the yarn together, then I'll make a start. So I'm looking forward to doing this. Whether they'll be done for this autumn or not, I don't know. <laughs> but we shall see. Anyhow, I'm going to make a smoothie now. That's breakfast today. Um, I think it's going to be a strawberry one um, and then I'm going to try my uh, Italian loaf at lunchtime I think hopefully I've got some bacon in the fridge and an avocado there I know I've got tomatoes so that's going to be lunch today for me unless we decide to eat out we'll say if we do I'll have it at tea time right I've found my ball of yarn out um, that I'm going to let the toadstool socks in. It is coming up slightly darker on camera than what it is in real life. But it's it's really nice, it's soft and it's Katia socks. I don't know if that's setter or seater tweed too. Um, I've looked online because I thought if I can get some red and a white ball that would be good but I can't seem to see any. So I popped on Etsy and found some a little sock set uh, which has got red and white yarn in so I've just ordered that but it's not due to be delivered until oh, sometime in the next fortnight really so it's, it's fine. So I think what I'm going to do is when I've got spare five minutes is split this into two 50 gram balls and so if I've got any spare needles and then cast on because at least I can do the cuff and the top part of the leg which looking at the pattern yeah I can go a few rows down before I need to do the patterning for the toe stores so I'm looking forward to starting these now I just hope I hope I manage the colour work. I think it's making sure that I don't put it too tight. 
we shall see. We shall see. Well, I'm sat here. I couldn't resist it. I've started to wind my yarn into two separate balls. I've got enough, um, well, I've got a couple of pairs of socks on the needles that I sat in a couple of project bags, which I think I, I can leave them. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to cast these on tonight. I know I am. <laughs> oh dear me, what am I like? But like I said before, I can only do so much until my new yarn arrives, but I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to making a start on something new. The Italian bread I made yesterday is really nice, it's tasty. You can just taste the pesto and the basil. Um, so I've just got a piece in the toaster and I'm having bacon, avocado and tomato and basil. That's my lunch. The Italian bread makes this a very tasty lunch and it's one I'll be having again. So that's a thumbs up for this Italian bread, it's lovely. And now I'm just doing tea. It's um, Friday night, so it's sort of end of the week for us for food shopping. And I'm just using leftover veggies. And I've just basically put everything I've got in my big pan. And that's going to go in the oven covered in foil. And it'll be, well, it'll, it'll be steamed basically. Um, and then I will put some curry, not curry sauce, korma sauce on and maybe coconut milk, we'll just say. So in my pan I've got courgettes, potatoes, onions, garlic, kale, soybeans, tomatoes, butter beans and lentils. So they will... Um, cook for about 40 minutes, probably on about gas mark, six or seven. And um, like I said, I'll steam so they'll be nice and tender. And then I'll salt and pepper them. Um, actually, I've got a bit of tarragon in there. And I'll just put the um, coconut milk on and the corn sauce. And then it'll go back in for about another 20 minutes and then that'll be ready. And we'll just have it with poppadoms. So I just put any veg, whatever I've got in, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, you have it with corn sauce, it all goes it's really nice and tasty. Right, the veggies have just come out of the oven so they're all nicely steamed. Now I'm going to have some corn sauce. might actually be enough. Right, I'm just going to pop a bit of water in. milk in but I'm going to use some frozen coconut milk. 
coconut milk came from Tesco, but I don't think they do it anymore. pieces like that. So I'm going to need a few. Okay. I'm going to give that a bit of a mix. And I think I'm going to just cover it up. And then pop it back in about 10 minutes and it will be ready to eat. Right and the vegetable curry is all finished and it tastes delicious. Looking forward to this now for my tea. And I managed to get my green yarn put into two bowls today which I knew I would do and of course I've started a new pair of socks. So that's what I'm doing the toadstool ones. I'm not going to have my socks as long as that. Um, so I have made a start and that's as far as I've got on the first sock. So I've done the rib and four rows. So that is now ready to go for the pattern. Um, I'm going to start on the next one probably tomorrow. Uh, my yarn my red yarn and white yarn is not due for anything up to a four at night, so there's no rush there. Uh, also, I've started on my Halloween yarn. That's as far as I've got. Um, I'm going to keep knitting on that. Uh, I'm not telling you what I'm doing, it's a surprise. Um, and I'll, I will reveal all on my first weekly vlog, which will be coming up next weekend. So that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, so now I'm, I'm going to call it a day now. It's getting a bit late and I want to do a little bit more knitting. Um, I'd just like to say thank you all for joining me today. Uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. I've just realised I haven't got a project bag to keep my new socks in. So I think tomorrow's job could be making a nice autumn bag for my new socks. Watch this space. Oh, no.